First, we were reeling from the success of China's AI upstart DeepSeek. Now TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, has just entered the AI race in a big way, escalating competition between the U.S. DeepSeek and China. R1 fine-tuning the world's first open-source reasoning model on the medical chain-of-thought dataset to build better AI doctors. For the future, DeepSeek has disrupted the AI landscape, challenging OpenAI's dominance by launching a new series of advanced reasoning models. The best part? These models are completely free to use with no restrictions, making them accessible to everyone. In this tutorial, we will fine-tune the DeepSeek R1 Distill Llama 8B model on the medical chain of thought dataset from Hugging Face. This distilled DeepSeek R1 model was created by fine-tuning the Llama 3.18B model on the data generated with DeepSeek R1. It showcases similar reasoning capabilities as the original model. To fine-tune the DeepSeek R1 model, you can follow the steps below. 1. Setting up for this project. We are using Google Colab Notebook as our cloud IDE because it provides free access to GPUs, which are often more powerful. To get started, launch a new Google Colab Notebook and add your Hugging Face token and weights and biases token as secrets. You can add secrets by navigating to the Secrets tab in the Notebook interface and selecting the Secrets option. After setting up the secrets, install the Unsloth Python package. Unsloth is an open source framework designed to make fine-tuning large language models 2x faster and more memory efficient. Log into the Hugging Face CLI using the Hugging Face API that we securely extracted from Collab Secrets. Similar, log into Weights and Biases WANDB using your API key and create a new project to track the experiments and fine-tuning progress. 2. Loading the model and tokenizer for this project. We are loading the Unsloth version of Deep Seacar 1 Distill Llama 8B. Additionally, we will load the model in 4 bit quantization to optimize memory usage and performance. 3. Model inference before fine tuning. To create a prompt style for the model, we will define a system prompt and include placeholders for the question and response generation. The prompt will guide the model to think step by step and provide a logical, accurate response. In this example, we will provide a medical question to the prompt style, convert it into tokens, and then pass the tokens to the model for response generation. Even without fine-tuning, our model successfully generated a chain of thought and provided reasoning before delivering the final answer. The reasoning process is encapsulated within the think slash think tags, so why do we still need fine-tuning? The reasoning process, while detailed, was long-winded and not concise. Additionally, the final answer was presented in a bullet point format, which deviates from the structure and style of the data set that we want to fine tune on. 4. Loading and processing the data set. We will slightly change the prompt style for processing the data set by adding the third placeholder for the complex chain of thought column. Write the Python function that will create a text column in the data set, which consists of the trained prompt style. Fill the placeholders with questions, chains of text, and answers. We will load the first 500 samples from the Freedom Intelligence slash Medical 01 Reasoning SFT dataset, which is available on the Hugging Face Hub. After that, we will map the text column using the formatting prompts func function. As we can see, the text column has a system prompt, instructions, chain of thought, and the answer. 5. Setting up the model. Using the target modules, we will set up the model by adding the lower rank adopter to the model. Next, we will set up the training arguments and the trainer by providing the model, tokenizers, dataset, and other important training parameters that will optimize our fine-tuning process. 6. Model training. Run the following command to start training. 6. Model training. Run the following command to start training. The training process took 44 minutes to finish. The training loss has gradually reduced which is a good sign of better model performance. You can view the full model evaluation report on the weights and buys dashboard by logging into Theo the website and viewing the project. 7. Model inference after fine-tuning. To compare the results, we will ask the fine-tuned model the same question as before to see what has changed. This is much better and more accurate. The chain of thought was direct and the answer was straightforward and in one paragraph. The fine-tuning was successful. 8. Saving the model locally now. Let's save the adopter, full model, and tokenizer locally so that we can use them in other projects. 9. Pushing the model to Hugging Face Hub. We will also push the adopter, tokenizer, 
and model to Hugging Face Hub so that the AI community can take advantage of this model by integrating it into their systems. Inclusion things are changing rapidly in the field of AI. The open source community is now taking over, challenging the dominance of proprietary models that have ruled the AI landscape for the past three years. Open source large language models are becoming better, faster, and more efficient making it easier than ever to fine-tune them on lower compute and memory resources. In this tutorial, we explored the DeepSeq R1 reasoning model and learned how to fine-tune its distilled version for medical queue and a tasks. A fine-tuned reasoning model not only enhances performance, but also enables its application in critical fields such as medicine, emergency services, and healthcare. Thanks for watching. See you in next one.